My name is Frank Chester, and I have been studying uh, something for almost seven years. And uh, I'm retired, and uh, I take a vacation in the thing number. And uh, so I really uh, appreciate that people want to see what I do. description of what I'm supposed to do tonight um, was supposed to be two lectures. So <laughs> a whole bunch of stuff I can't cover. So if I don't cover the things on that list, that's why. Well, I, didn't, I don't have the time. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through three areas. I'm going to show you a form that's never been seen before. I don't know. And uh, I'm going to show you why I took it through alchemy. I put it through earth, water, air, and fire. I will show you that. That's one section. The second section is I found out where this form comes into the world, where it manifests. And then the third thing I'm going to show you is how I applied it to architecture. And the main thing I want you to look at is not that, oh, I got to get that object he's got. <laughs> uh, because if you do that, then you'll miss the point. And the point is, is that to try to understand the process. Because that's the one thing that's alive. It's the process that I'm going through when I show this to you, not the form. The form's here already. It's been here for seven, well, almost seven years. I discovered it in 19, uh, I discovered the form in 19, uh, I mean, 1999, uh, uh, I, I guess around October. I had discovered it. So by the time I got to Christmas, okay, I had really put it all together. So it came into being in the year 2000, right at the very first of 2000. And that's the same time that I was in the middle of Saturn return. And so I had gone through a whole bunch of stuff you wouldn't believe in that Saturn period before I started this work. So I retired and I was I taught art and cabinet making and welding and architectural drawing and engineering and all that kind of stuff uh, for 15 years in a college and then I worked 12 years in a high school and another five years in another high school and I have no welfare education I have I don't know who Buddha Steiner was until I went. I met a woman in Switzerland, and she said, you ever heard of Rudolf Steiner? I said, no. And she said, well, I think you'd be interested because I know what kind of work you do. I said, no, I'm not interested. <laughs> <laughs> I had enough of the different philosophies of it. it. So she said, oh, I should read this book. So I said, well, what is it? The philosophy of freedom. <coughs> so she kept sending me the four big ones, right? The four. <laughs> I liked it. I liked it a lot, so I got really interested. So she invited me to Switzerland on the first English conference at the Grithion. So, I, my gosh, what is all this? <laughs> so, I signed up for a sculpture class, like he did, a workshop class, and walked into his studio, Rose Steiner's studio, to do the work. Yeah, she's got half of the, you know, arm is on the bottom. And anyway, so the main sculpture is in the main building. But the four, the four days that I was in there, all I did was make Lucifer and Ariman. I didn't know who they were. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I really liked it. So when I retired, I went to Rudolf Steiner College for a year. And I learned about alchemy. And I also learned about Platonic forms, which I didn't know about. I have an art major. I never learned about Platonic forms in, in college. When I was an art major. Everything was done in proportions and ratios, but then there was nothing really uh, objective. It was all subject. Okay, enough of that. Here we go. My question was, is how to make a seven-sided form? So, I'm going to give you the process that I went through. That I had to do it all on my own. And so the first thing I did is I found the sea outside my apartment. That's what got me going. The sea. <laughs> it is kind of funny, you know. It's funny to me. <laughs> I was, uh, you know, I was so naive 
that I didn't know it was a problem. I thought, you know, okay, seven, let's put it together. So I went down the river, American River, and I got seven sticks. I broke off some weeds and got them all the same length, and I put seven sticks all together in here and put some mud around it. And I'll show you. <laughs> so, Richard, that's how I started. So, you have to remember, you can be very humble in this whole thing. You know, you don't have to be uh, hot shot or anything. It's just, just an average guy doing something. Anyway, I tried to get them all the same length, all the same distance, and all I got was five and two ends. And, you know, that doesn't make me very happy, so um, I tried some other things. I tried taking the floater I found out there on the river, and I tried to draw seven circles around it, but they didn't meet. I couldn't make the seven circles meet. Some of them, you, they won't join because the other two won't let them come together. Well, that didn't work. So I did a whole bunch of things. I took seven balls and I pushed them all together in a piece of clay and I got that. <laughs> it looks like a vertebrae. And it's pretty cool. Sculptors like this. I mean, I could have made a big one of these things, probably so. <laughs> I did all this kind of stuff. I tried to do it scientific, didn't work. So I said, uh, heck with this. I'm going to look at what other people have done. And I didn't do that before. So here's. Here's what one person says. This is seven. They took a cube. They took a corner off. That's seven. <laughs> no, that's not what I wanted. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what, I, what I wanted was something that had the same surface areas. So the same surface, uh, like a cube. A cube has six surface areas that have the same volume. Because so that's one of the platonic form characteristics. It has the same volume here, 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 here. That's what I want. Well, so another guy took the seven here. These are not the textbooks, you know, out of the scientific textbooks. He took a piece and sliced five pieces off and two on the bottom, makes seven. Another person, now they took the cone here and they make seven slices on his cone and the bottom is six. Or it's one, but it's really six. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Those are not equal. Okay, so that didn't work either. Then I decided, okay, I have to do art. Because that's my training. My training is in science, my training is in art. So when I took a ball of clay and a spoon, and I started to scoop out seven holes, and I laid up little piles of mud so that they were all the same height, little cones. And when I got to where there was a gap like that, I don't care. Artists don't care about that. They just keep carving. I carved right up until there was no gap. And the whole sphere turned into this. Now you're going to think, what a mess. But this is, I was really excited over this. Because it has seven holes in it. So I enlarged it. And this is what it looks like when I enlarged it. After lots of work, I got the first seven-sided object. Oh, boy, it's strange looking. <laughs> But if you look at it, and this is what encouraged me when I went to the Berthiano, was this capital. This is what got me going, because that capital was seven. But it is, you see how big it is, look at this lady working. But it's a relief. But notice that it has these angles on here, and there's a little sphere here. Look at the angles coming in on this. Now I didn't, this isn't for me, this isn't, this is objective, this is not art. These angles came in automatically for me. And then, of course, this right here, he said was a C in the Saturn capital. So I also put that C. But, you know, um, I wanted to go into the objective. I want to make this scientific. I don't want to do the art. So I studied this thing, and I found out that there were one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. I don't like that. There's three and four. 